What Nemesis effectively did was remove a layer of Turkish leadership almost entirely, uh, which, in, which created almost a vacuum, and uh, Mustafa Kemal, or Ataturk, uh, became leader in 1923. Without Talat Pasha, without um, Jamal Pasha, and Enver Pasha, who Operation Nemesis did not kill, that was, he was killed by the Soviets, but without these leaders, um, it made it much easier for Kemal to become, uh, to take over Turkey entirely. So they had an effect on history. Uh, uh, they are significant for that reason. They are also significant because they are virtually unique. Um, people have mentioned to me, oh, this is like Munich. They killed all these people. Well, not exactly. Munich are, is a secret agents supported by a very powerful state. These were men who were just regular men and were not supported by a powerful state. There was a little tiny Armenian Republic at the time, very weak. Um, and they did this, this extraordinary thing. Also, it's not happening in the 1970s it's hap or the 80s. It's happening in 1921 when there's almost no way to communicate. With They're not picking up a phone and talking to each other. Everything has to happen by letter or by telegram. And a number of the organizers are here in the United States and the operatives are all over Europe. Incredible story. I mean, I don't even feel that I completely could do it justice. I always felt like I was falling short, but I did the best I could. I found as much as I could and I've tried to put as much of it in there. I, I really believe that this book should be a threshold, as was de Roger's book, to perhaps another book 10 years down the line when Russian, German, uh, Turkish and Tashnag Armenian uh, archives are fully open and somebody really learns the full story.